Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video today explaining um, sight unseen razors. A lot of people offer them, Whip Dog, a few vendors on Etsy, you could find them for about $35, $45. What they are is they're razors that they don't particularly look at the brand or anything and there may be something wrong with them, a chip or something that's um, that they're selling them for so cheap that they can't sell them as a single razor. They just take it out of the box and sharpen them and that's how they're able to keep the price so low. And I'm doing all this as a beginner standpoint um, and to give you my experience with that. Um, I bought a razor, I'm not going to tell you exactly which vendor I got it from, but it was about $45 I bought this razor. It's in pretty good shape. There's a little oxidation on it. It seemed pretty sharp when I got it. It seemed like a pretty good razor. It seemed to be in pretty good condition. Um, I used it once, twice. It seemed to be pulling a little bit. I tried to strope it. I tried everything and it just you know, it didn't feel as sharp as a regular razor. And this is my first razor, so I, I, you know, I had nothing to compare it to. I thought all straight razors were like this. So I was really, you know, turned off by it. I was really upset. I, I really wanted to start shaving with a straight razor. So I talked to a few people online, and they say, it sounds like my razor wasn't sharp enough. It wasn't shave ready. And that was one of the things that was advertised on, you know, when I bought it. So I decided to give it one more shot. I found this guy. We talked on Badger and Blade. We talked on a few different sites. I ended up friending him on Facebook. And he has a shop on Etsy. And um, he advised me with the skin type and what hair type I have. He advised me which razor I should buy. And, you know, he was very helpful. Um, he sent me the razor all the way from Sylvania. It was about 80 bucks. It's a Taylor Special Razor. You can see it has a three pin pivot. It just feels a lot better. It's a lot more heavy of a razor as the sight unseen. Um, so I figured I'd give it a try and I used it and I had no irritation. I had no problems. I had no problems using it every day. I didn't get cut once. I didn't, you know, nothing. It felt it felt just as sharp as, you know, my shave vet. And I was really happy about that because I, I thought straight razors were just dull because of my side on the scene. So from a beginning standpoint, I wanna say that I'd stay away from these side on scene razors. I'm no I'm no expert on anything, but people told me, you know, some off brand razors or some brands just don't compare with the well-known brands and they won't sharpen well and they won't hold the blade well and they just won't they won't shave you right so if you're gonna buy your first razor you should stick to something you know what you're getting I know forty five dollars is a good deal on everything but if you spend a couple bucks more you can get something and you know exactly what it is you know it's gonna be right um, the customer service with this guy I went from personally was incredible. He told me everything about the razor, everything I need to know, how to maintain it. And I haven't had any problems since with it. And I think I, I feel kind of cheated that I wasted this $45 on this razor and it's, you know, you can't sharpen it. You can't do anything with it. You don't know what you're getting. So if you're going to take that leap, you might as well spend a couple dollars more and know what you're getting. If you don't like it, I mean, you could always sell it. You could always sell it back, or, you know, they'll take the blade back. The guy I go to, he'll actually give you a refund if you're not satisfied with it. You should know who's sharpening it, and you should know if it's going to be what you want it to be. And that's just my two cents. All blades, you know, just because it's a straight razor doesn't mean doesn't mean it can compare to others. You should really know what you're buying. I don't think a, a sight unseen razor is, is good for a beginner because you're not getting 
a fair shake at what a real straight razor was supposed to be. You might get a good one, you might, you know, you could tell me, you know, you had a good experience with sight and seeing razors, but if I was new to it, I wouldn't want to take the chance, you know. You could just spend a couple bucks more and get something that you know is right, and you know it will last you, and you know it's good. And that's all I wanted to say about this subject. Um, I'm going to leave the guy's link. His name is Graham. I'm going to leave it in the info section. So if you need anything, contact him. He'll hook you up. He's real good. I'm sure you could find some other vendors, but I know this guy personally will give me what I'm paying for, and he will refund me if something is wrong, but I haven't had any problems with him. So thanks for watching. I have a few more videos coming. I'll interview, you know, I'll start doing sterling soap. Um, I got a few different soaps to try, so I'm excited to make videos about them and shaving with my new razor I got from Graham. It's a Taylor Special Razor. Their most common one is the Taylor's 1000. This one I think is a little heavier. But. I don't know, I think it's a good deal to contact that guy. Right, thanks for watching, everyone.